Unfortunately, they also can be found littering the open spaces of Illinois. Much of this debris is harmful to fish and wildlife. If you enjoy the great outdoors, help keep the outdoors looking great. Recycle or properly discard trash when visiting your Illinois state parks. talk about anything and everything and we'll probably talk about anything. We were talking about this gentleman here. He's uh, Mr. John Arvitas. Mr. Arvitas is a part of the ensemble with uh, A.J. Ivory. Um, Mr. Arvitas, tell us what, exactly what do you do with the band? <laughs> I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> a blues ventriloquist okay right. i guess the only one the only blues ventriloquist is that right um, yeah i've been doing ventriloquism since i was a young child but i've been doing the blues thing for about 12 years now so i mean that's a, I, I must tell you this is a real odd combination <laughs> of blues and, and ventriloquism i mean what mm -hmm. what brought that on what it wasn't really intended it was never intended um A.J.'s brother actually got me into doing songs. I used to do an act with A.J.'s brother. Oh, um, is that right? Okay. Yeah. The infamous brother. Joey Bella, which isn't his name either, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Whoops, we won't, we won't get into that. But um, okay. he got me into doing songs, and then... Uh, actually, I was coming on my way back home from a job just after the Club Blues had opened on Halstead. Okay. And I dropped by to see Phil Guy and A.J.'s other brother, Marty Bender, was playing drums. Okay. And uh, they noticed I was dressed up, had a car full of puppets and they dragged me up on stage which uh actually some blues players had worked on me for a while i had been such a fan and hung around okay so you yeah. you were not this was not brand new to you the blues thing at all no but you know uh i really never intended it to you know turn into a profession or something or, or you know be something that I would do full time right right uh but uh, it went over, people liked it, and I found myself with musicians asking me to freelance for them and work mm. with them. Mm. And even at that point, I really didn't intend to pursue it. It was Junior Wells who talked me into it one night. Oh, really? In the famous part. Junior Wells. The famous Junior Wells. That's he great. He talked me into it. Um, yeah, he was mad because he'd, he'd asked me to do it for him before, and I, I never had done it with Junior. Okay. And, um, I mean, here, was this a club here in Chicago? or? Yeah, he was playing uh, Biddy Mulligans with with Buddy Guy at that time. Yeah. And I just dropped by uh, to see the band, and he'd heard about me sitting in with Phil, and the first thing he did was come up and start punching on me. <laughs> and I'm like, why <laughs> the do it for me, right? You know? <laughs> and um, so he'd asked me to come by some time with the band, but I, yeah, I did not think that blues and ventriloquism was a good idea, and I told him I, I really didn't intend to do it, you know? And, and ju great. Junior talked me into it. He said, you know, uh, so let me ask you a question. He says, did you have a good time? Yeah. So it was a great time. He says, well, the band liked it. They say the house loved it. What's your problem? And uh, I didn't know how a genuine blues crowd would respond to it. And that's the way I came at Junior. Okay. I said, well, what would a Southside, all black blues club, you know, real hardcore blues club, how would they respond to this? I'll tell you. Man, get this cat out of here, yeah. man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, it's my best audience. Oh, it really? That's yeah, cool. Junior said, let's find out, you yeah. know? Yeah. Done work, you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool, though. I mean, because, you know, you know, I think people have a misconception about Southside and, you know, and all the things that go on there. I mean, place. there's a lot of weird stuff that happens there, but, you know, in terms of people, entertainers who come, who go there to do work, man, I mean, they, a lot the of the best are friendly. Are there. You know, the streets are tough. Yeah. But the clubs are friendly. Yeah. I, I've never been in a blues club that wasn't well run, you know, let, the Southside. Let me, let me talk. You, you also mentioned to me earlier about uh, being the president of... The Ventriloquist Guild. Okay. Now, what is that? It's an international organization for ventriloquists. Okay. Um, ventriloquists are basically loners. And uh, I realized a, a number of years ago that uh, it would be to our advantage to organize. Mm. And about 20 years ago, I started international ventriloquist conventions. This will be our 20th year. Really? Yeah, and then we kicked up uh, the guild, an official organization, 
in 86, uh -huh. started to publish a magazine, and it was the first time we got professionals from the field to participate uh, okay. in an activity like that. That's very nice. I mean, so this is, I mean, this is a, this is a big thing. I mean, this is not just, uh, you know. Well, it's not a lot of us, but it's, it's, uh, it's important to us. It's almost like a, a dying art. Okay. Uh, there's so few people that know really what it is. Even <laughs> you find people that are involved in it that really don't, aren't familiar with it. Yeah, yeah. Aren't familiar with the history t with it uh, and the techniques. Now, you, you also make dummies, isn't it? Well, <laughs> is dummy the correct? I don't know. Tell, tell well, me. dummies are right. Ventriloquists call that style of puppet a figure, okay. a ventriloquial figure. Okay. And, uh, but dummies. Dummies, dummies right? okay? Yeah. Okay. They call me that. <laughs> I talk for myself. I don't know. But uh, that, that's great. Now, okay, um, I'll tell you what we're going to do is, uh, oh, we have a guest. Oh, no. We have a guest. Oh, no. Who, who might this be? <laughs> Introduce us to our, our friend here. <laughs> Little Charlie. Hey, how you doing, man? Long time. Long, Long time. time. Okay, okay, this is great. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking to somebody. Now. Yeah. Well, uh, I feel like I'm talking to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm doing this. Yeah. Uh, well, th should I talk to him as a person? Or? Yeah. Oh, what else are you going to talk me to it? Uh, you know what I mean? What are you going to say? Okay, yeah. I'm going to say. You feel funny talking to a dummy? <laughs> yeah. I just agree. I no. do. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Yeah. Ask great. me anything. Okay. What, what Except you... about Louise. You know what I mean? About Louise. You know anything about Louise? No, no, man. I said anything but Louise. Oh, okay. Uh, what, what is your name? Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been with this guy, Chuck? I mean, Charlie, sorry. Well, let's see back when we hook up. Maybe about 10, 12 years ago. 10, 12 years ago. What was you doing before then? Oh, a long time. I've been a long time blues player. I'm the world's oldest blues singer. Is that yeah. right? The world's yeah. oldest blues singer. That's right, man. Uh, if I could impose on you. You believe that? I got some more for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to impose on you just for a second. Go ahead. Could you just kind of like, just sing us a little bit? Just a little bit. Don't, you know. So yeah, see. we'll work with the band. We're going to do another. Are you going to work with the band? Yeah, we're going to do another for you. Oh, man, that's going to yeah. be cool. Okay, okay, well, like, a couple of questions before we do that. Um, yeah, go uh, ahead, shoot. What, can I ask this guy a little something here first? If you got to. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, man. He's good, man. He's good. I tell you, um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm interested in that why you chose to have Charlie in his, <laughs> in his, his, his present ethnic state. <laughs> uh, Actually, it's an odd story. I, um, I had a, a very good friend um, who was a black comedian who did ventriloquism. His name was Pretty Bop. And okay. he worked with the puppet June Bug. Mm. And June Bug was in need of repair. He brought him to me one day and he had, the face was busted up. The eye mechanism was. And he had a print job coming up. And they wanted to take close-up pictures of the face. And he'd had his puppet modified, so he had these fancy eye movements. Right, right. But the guy who did it put the eyes so far back, when you stood in front of the puppet, you were looking straight inside the head. Oh. Not cool. Not, Not cool. cool, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have launched an MX missile from in there. I mean, it was such a big gap. And uh, I talked him into putting in a pair of glass optical eyes. You mean like the kind of people would wear? Right. OK. Um, because he didn't like to move the eyes anyway. Mm -hmm. And I dug up this pair of eyes, mm -hmm. really for Pretty Bop. And he passed away before I had a chance to put him in his puppet. Mm. And these yeah, eyes were made specifically for a black man. And they look very real. I mean, I'm sitting oh, here right. looking at them. I don't know if the camera can see, but you know, that, that, that looks extremely <laughs> realistic. <laughs> and it's, it's like, he, like he's going to cry. Don't cry, man. It's, it's, cool. No, it's, it's cool. You're cool? OK. You're the man, baby. I, you get this old, you'll cry, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I love this, man. <laughs> so, um, uh, back to you, Charles. I can call you Charles, can I? Can I call That's you that? cool. Okay, baby. Uh, do, when, you, when you go into oh. these... <laughs> no. Stay with me, baby. Stay with me. <laughs> when, when, you, when you do these clubs, I mean, uh, uh, who, is, who seems to be your largest fan? The females or, or, or males? I hope the women. <laughs> yeah, I hope the women. I got lots of women friends, you oh, know. Yeah. Is, is that right? You, yeah. You're the lady, so, so yeah. you, you, you have a tendency of, uh, yeah. uh, okay. I got okay. lines, but it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go. As a matter of fact, we're going to come back. We, uh, we're going to take a little break here. Um, do we have these guys go over? We're just going right to break. Okay, uh, stay with us. Stay, don't, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back in a minute, okay? These items can be found on most store shelves. Unfortunately, they also can be found littering the open spaces of Illinois. Much of this debris is harmful to fish and wildlife. 
If you enjoy the great outdoors, help keep the outdoors looking great. Recycle or properly discard trash when visiting your Illinois state parks. Aren't you proud of the scenic beauty of Illinois? Sometimes we may forget what a magnificent state Illinois is.